Hello and good day. Welcome back to the Loadman channel on YouTube. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to implement geofencing. The software prerequisite for geofencing is Loadman Fleet Management version 6.01.05 or newer. The Loadman meter must be equipped with the optional onboard GPS chip and antenna. When recorded GPS coordinates are uploaded into Loadman's fleet management software, office management will be able to use the coordinates to track truck routes and aid with several other advanced location-based functions. With geofencing operational, Loadman captures the GPS coordinate of the load site, captures the load weight, records and transmits data to Loadman fleet management, and frees the driver to focus on his pickups. Geofencing is one way to ensure that the GPS coordinates of each load site are valid. The GPS data may then be used to identify the customer for each load. Here are the two recommended implementation methods for geofencing. Use a kit supplied by Creative Microsystems to capture GPS coordinates for each load site. The kit contains the LM200 running underbody software and communications gear, a barcode reader, and a smash box. And two, use an existing in-cab meter with barcode reader. Note that option one makes it possible for anyone to collect the data while option 2 leaves the responsibility up to the driver. There are many ways to ensure that each entry in the database has valid GPS information. We recommend using geofencing as a tool to capture this information. Here are the recommended implementation steps for geofencing. One, Use one of the two recommended methods. Turn on geofence settings in LFM. Create a route and add stops to the route. Download the route to the meter. Run the route. Loadman will record the load data latlon and assign load latlon to service latlon. Six, create a route with no stops and download it to the meter. Seven, have the driver run his route in this geofence mode. To enable the geofence feature, we go to Tools, Advanced Settings, and we go down to Geofence Settings, and we'll select both checkboxes, uh, Geofence Loads as the data is collected, and Save Load Data Let Long to Service if not already set. And we'll just leave the default detection radius as is, and click OK. Let's look at creating a new route. My goal here is to create a route that includes all or many of my customers, download the route to the meter, and have the driver run it to capture the GPS coordinates of each load site. I'll be using the exact method you'd use to create a single route, but instead we'll create a group of routes to accomplish my goal. From the Loadman Fleet Management main menu, Select Routes, click on Add to add a route, click the Groups of Routes checkbox, uh, give the route a name, assign a truck to the route, and assign a driver to that truck, and click OK. Now here is my route that I just created. Uh, go ahead and click on Edit Stops. And here are three available routes. Now, you may have 10 or 15 or 100. Uh, you can select them individually and move them into the routes in the group. Or you can select them all of them at once and move them in. Or you can select them by dragging 
them over to the group and releasing. Uh, there are several ways. Once you have them in here, you can uh, reorder them. This is actually an order they're going to be run when the driver does the, the, the route. So you can reorder these. For instance, I can click on reverse and that reverses the order. Or I can select this one, move it up, uh, move this one down. Well, once you have it the way you want it, just go ahead and click OK. And you're now ready to do the download of this route, which includes all your route stops. Uh, to the in-cab meter so the driver can go run the route. Okay, we have created a route called Super Route, which includes all the stops in my other uh, routes. And it's time to download it to the in-cab meter so the driver can go ahead and run the route. And so uh, just right mouse click the route and select download route and it comes up pending and should as soon as the LM200 connects to the uh, Loadman Fleet Manager it will go ahead and uh, download that route to it. So let's give it a few minutes or a few seconds Okay, we're waiting on it to start, and hopefully it will start in a second or two. Still pending. Uh, and here we go, it's beginning. It's at 1% and it's done. It's really a short route, so that's how long it took. It is easier for the driver to run the route correctly if he's given a route sheet and a barcode scanner. The driver must give special attention to ensure that the correct account is scanned at each stop. Here's a quick look at the driver experience. Okay, my route sheet is right above my meter and hopefully you can see what's displayed on it right now. It says ready to weigh and it says right aid and uh, I'm just going to use my scanner to scan a different account and it should pop up in a second here. There we go and I'll try a different one So the, the only thing the driver has to be sure of is that he is at the right stop when he scans uh, the, the barcode on the route sheet and all the information will be correct. Yes, uh, Loadman recorded the load data lat lawn for each of our stops, assigned them automatically to the service lat lawn and uploaded the data to Loadman Fleet Management. We have now populated our database with valid GPS coordinates so long as the route was run error free. Now let's take a look at the data. Uh, so let's click on load data and we'll just move over to the right here and here we go. Um, we have load data lat long and further to the right uh, service lat long. So we have successfully updated uh, the database with valid GPS information, mission accomplished, we can move forward to the last and uh, implementation step. And finally we get to the last step in how to implement geofencing. We need to create a route with no stops and download it to the meter. A special account called Geofence Load is downloaded to the meter and the driver may now run routes in this mode indefinitely. As we have seen, one benefit of Geofence is that you can use it to capture valid GPS information for each load site. 
Another benefit is that it frees you from having to download routes to the meter continuously. When a new stop is added, the driver simply picks up the load, Loadman will tag the load as a geofence load, and office staff can add the correct account information as needed. Our new feature, Georouting, takes advantage of the fact that you now have valid GPS information in your database and adds features that give the driver customer account and weighing feedback. This enables the driver to concentrate on the primary task of driving. And that concludes our presentation.